Hey there guys, this is Phone Tech Kid, and today we're going to be going over the leaked Android 4.3 Jelly Bean ROM for your Samsung Galaxy S4. So guys, let's get started. When powering on your device, you get the same Google Play boot up screen as you would get on a stock Galaxy S4 or HTC One Google Editions. First off, when we're getting into this ROM, I do want to say again that this is an Android 4.3 leak, and there are probably some more features coming in when Google officially releases this version of Android. So I'm going to talk about what's new in this version. So there haven't been really that many changes that will make your phone feel faster. So, so let's start off with the first change which is in Wi-Fi settings. So if we go into Wi-Fi and about into advanced. Here we have a new option where it says scanning always available. So let Google's location services and other apps scan for networks even when Wi-Fi is off. So I turn that off for now as I have noticed that that does waste a lot of battery life. The next thing that Google added into this new version of Android for sure is called Bluetooth LE. So this is Bluetooth 4.0 low energy and basically what it should do is of course just as it says waste less battery life and energy of your phone when you're connected to Bluetooth and I think that would be a really good feature depends how much of a difference it actually makes when it comes out. The last of the changes that we do get with this ROM is if we go into our normal developer options we do get some new settings here so let's pop up the device if we go down we can now select uh, specific debugging apps that we want to work with uh, of course Android debugging we do get some more settings under GPU rendering, like new tools for web view and non-rectangular clipping. So I'm not sure if you guys know what that is. I'm not fully sure about it, but uh, that's what's new in the developer settings. So other than that, this ROM is going to give you the experience that you are used to on an Android 4.2.2 Google Play Edition ROM, except it's 4.3. Uh, one thing that I have noticed is battery life does drain a little bit quicker. Uh, I think that's a little bit strange and that might just be because Google hasn't even announced this yet. So guys, I want to ask you, if this was truly the next version of Android, would you be happy with it or would you be really disappointed? Please leave your comments down below on what you think as you would feel of the new update that is coming. And guys, I think that's about it for today. I hope you enjoyed this quick, quick video as I just wanted to show you what is coming. So guys, uh, as I said, thanks for watching and talk to you later.